Hey guys, it is uh, Whiskey Wednesday. It's uh, here at the Springfield Distillery. It is quite cold outside, so um, had a really cute little uh, reindeer shirt I was gonna wear today, and I had to blow that out because it is darn cold here with everything that's going through and the um, storm that's happening up north and that. We've just had a lot of rain, so it has made it super chilly here down in um, Halifax, Virginia. But um, glad you guys have joined me. I hope you guys will enjoy these cocktails today. We um, decided to do, Mason and I are big into Christmas, and um, he decided to do something kind of reindeer inspired. He thought that we were going to do nine cocktails, which is just a little bit overwhelming for me and trying to come up with those. But um, I think I've done okay. Um, for those of you that guessed, I hope you guys guessed right. Do us a favor, just keep track of what I'm doing today, and I will post um, the cocktails associated with the whiskeys and that stuff later um, this weekend and that stuff. Probably tomorrow morning. I hope I can get a list up for you in that. But this first one is um, it's Dasher. We decided to do the first one for Dasher, the um, first reindeer. And um, this is one that I've seen on Pinterest, and I was really excited to try this because I just thought that the flavors were going to be super good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to start with a, oh, I just realized, sorry. Got this. I'm going to start with just a little bit of ice. I've been using these tasting jars as kind of my mixing jars, and I think it's just worked really well to blend the whiskey in that. So I'm going to put a little a few ice cubes in that just so I can get a good mix going in this. And what I'm gonna do, this is an, this is um, a caramel apple kind of uh, spritzer type thing that I thought would be kind of fun. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just put a little bit of that caramel sauce down in here. Um, hope you guys, I don't know if I'm seeing any comments, but if you guys can just do a shout out, and let me know you guys are hearing everything okay in that. Um, I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of caramel in that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, the whiskey that we decided to do with this one was the honey. So if you guys guessed Dasher and honey whiskey, then you guessed right. Um, this has got a nice potent um, 90 proof with the honey. This is a great one for this time of year. It's got uh, the heat of a 90 proof whiskey, but then also just blends really, really well with your uh, winter cocktails with this. Yes, you can hear me. Thanks, Amy. I appreciate that. Um, so I'm going to put one ounce of this. I've got that nice caramel sauce down in there. I'm going to put one ounce of um, honey whiskey in it. And then I'm gonna do my typical mix of half juice, half ginger ale in that. So I'm gonna take some apple cider. It's just the great value one. Um, you could use any apple cider. You can use leftover of the mold cider. If you guys have, um, enjoy my brown sugar cinnamon right now, I love it. If you can um, do this, you'll see like the leftover mold cider in that. You guys could use that for this. If you have any leftover for that, this would make a great um, addition to that. So this has the uh, honey whiskey, a little bit of caramel sauce. I'm going to do half of an apple cider in here, and then I'm going to do half um, ginger ale with this. And I just realized I just walked away with some no ginger ale. Shoot, sorry about that. I was not very prepared today. So I'm going to put some, um, I'm just going to top this off with a little bit of ginger ale, and it's just going to kind of thin out some of that caramel in that. Um, but you can use this with the ice and just do the quick shake with it before you add the carbonation, which is what I should have done, but I rushed this. So I might make this again and just see how I like it. But this is gonna be the honey. I've got um, a caramel sauce, some um, apple cider in there, and ginger ale. This does taste a lot like a caramel apple. I'm gonna do this one more time the right way since I kind of screwed this up. I'm gonna put a couple of ice cubes in there and just see if I can get this mixed a little bit better. Doing it the way I was thinking. This tastes really good. I really like that apple cider and the caramel sauce with that. I think that that's got a nice flavor to it. Um, and the honey is really um, got that nice whiskey flavor to it. This is one I think I would also do with either the bourbon or the 1842. I think that the caramel with this, I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna do just a little bit um, um, more of this caramel sauce. This is one that you can rim the jar with if you want. I would do the caramel sauce and then maybe do it with like a cinnamon sugar on the top I think would be really good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that um, apple cider to it and 
for you guys that have these, um, the lids on top of this, this makes really good mixers with it. So if you take that, I'm gonna just mix this up. It's gonna blend the whiskey and that caramel and the apple juice really, really well. And then um, we're just gonna top this with the carbonation, with the ginger ale with that. Let's see how we like this. And I think with this one, because of the honey and the ginger in that, I think I would garnish this with a lemon. I think the little bit of lemon with that would be really, really good. But look at this one. This looks pretty good, I'd have to say. It's got a nice little bubble effect to it. Oh, yeah. A little bit more caramel would be really good. If you put a little caramel rim on this, this would be super good with this one. I like this. The apple cider. Um, you could do this with apple juice if you didn't want that. The other thing you could do is you could substitute this with the brown sugar cinnamon and do the caramel in that. But I had the brown sugar cinnamon slotted for something else. But you could easily just do apple juice, the brown sugar cinnamon, ginger ale, and the caramel. And it does. It tastes kind of like a caramel apple. I like that. So that is Dasher. Dasher was the honey whiskey, just so you guys know. Um, this next one, I'm just going to kind of walk through in that just so you guys can get an idea of what we're doing. You guys know that warm mold cider that we always do is always such a big hit. Um, this week for Dasher, this is for um, Dancer and Prancer. They're actually combined into one cocktail because I couldn't come up with nine cocktails. It was just a little tough this week. But um, if you guys see the warm mold cider this week has a nice little red tint to it. And what we did is um, I always like to right before Christmas just with the cranberry part. The apple is so good through the fall. Um, you guys know we take a gallon of apple juice. I do a half a packet of this uh, mold spice that we sell here in the distillery. Um, so it's uh, one gallon of apple juice. The packet, the recipe on the back calls for one packet. I cut it in half. I just think that half is more than enough. Plus then you get to really taste that whiskey flavor. But this is where we changed it up this week. Instead of doing the apple juice, I'm gonna, I did this cran apple. You can do Ocean Spray, you can do Food Lion, uh, the Walmart brand, it doesn't matter. You're gonna, this is a half gallon, but I would do one gallon of the cran apple juice in the crock pot, put a half a packet of this um, mulling spice, and um, I would say use the brown sugar cinnamon with this. So Dasher and uh, Dancer and Prancer combined, if you guessed either one of those for brown sugar cinnamon, you nailed it. So what I would do is take this, I'm gonna put, um, in my, in my big coffee mug like this, I'm gonna put a full um, ounce and a half in this one because I want a really good shot of whiskey. You could go up to two ounces in this, super easy. And then I'm gonna just garnish this with an orange. You could float some cranberries in that, but look at how pretty that is. You could put this in the crock pot. Anybody can drink it um, and then just add your whiskey when you serve it. If you put it into the crock pot, it's gonna evaporate, and um, obviously we call that alcohol abuse. You don't wanna do that. If you guys haven't tried the warm mold cider, do yourself a favor, stop by the distiller this weekend. I just ordered another 150 packets of it because we ran out, um, so I have got plenty in stock. This is a great gift if you guys are doing your small gathering, going to family, and you wanna bring something, not a big cook or that, this anybody can make. Packet of the, half a packet of the mulling spice, the um, cran apple juice is really good, and then just a shot of the brown sugar cinnamon. This just warms you up. It's just got such good flavor. This is definitely my go-to. Everybody likes this. I hope you'd come in and try that this weekend. This is how we're gonna make it. You can float some cranberries if you wanna make it pretty, but um, that's just a super easy cocktail. If you need directions with that, let me know. And if you decide to give this as a gift for Christmas, um, we'll put a nice little recipe on the bag so that the, your, um, whoever you're giving it to will actually know exactly how to do that. And they can reach out to us if they have any questions. But I think that one is super good. So that's Dancer and Prancer. So Vixen, um, Mason and I decided needed to be kind of spicy, kind of... Um, uh, we kind of use salsa inspired in that is kind of where we went with this. And this is a go-to in the distillery. And I'm gonna do this one of two ways just so that, just today I'm gonna do it as a sour mix. But over the weekend, we will do it with a margarita mix. And that is um, the one that I have here this week. It's just because I think it has a little bit more flavor. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it with this margarita mix. This Zing Zang, they sell it at um, Food Lion. I think they also do it at uh, Walmart here, but I'm sure you guys in Northern Virginia or wherever you guys are in uh, North Carolina watching, you guys will probably find this Zing Zang. I know it's in um, 
Food Lion. And what I'm going to do with this one is, this is a very popular whiskey. This is um, Vixen, and Vixen is going to be, because I think it's going to be nice and uh, salsa-inspired and spicy in that, we're going to go with the orange whiskey. It's my favorite. Uh, Vixen is a girl reindeer, according to um, what I have found out. So we're going to go with um, one of my favorite whiskeys, which is the orange with this. I'm gonna put one ounce of the whiskey in there, and then I'm gonna just put um, enough mixer in here just to give it. This is one that I would, whether it's, um, golly, um, <laughs> not very happy about you getting in the zing zang, I guess. Um, with the orange whiskey, I think you could go less is more, but it's just my personal preference on this. So you guys with these measurements and these little tasting jars are in the big jar, you guys know I'm gonna go right up to that Halifax, Virginia line, get a little bit of that um, Zing Zang tartness in there, and then I'm gonna top this one with Sprite. This is just a, a classic in the tasting room. Everybody loves this one. I have people ask me all the time, can you make me one of those orange margaritas? I think it just goes really well. If you're not a huge margarita fan, you can substitute this for the sour mix. We sell this sour mix. Um, if you know somebody who likes whiskey sours, this pairs super well with our 1842, the straight bourbon, the orange whiskey. I would do this with the honey, the peach, the blackberry. So many things go with the sour mix and the margarita. It's just either one of those goes really, really well with the whiskeys. And this is gonna be my orange margarita. And of course, because I used orange whiskey, I'm gonna garnish that with a little bit of orange. Really, really, really good. This is, if you don't know what to get here at the distillery, if you don't want to taste a heck of a lot of the whiskey, um, I like the orange with this. It's super subtle. It's just got a nice flavor to it with either the margarita mix or the sour mix. Um, I do one part whiskey, two parts um, sour or margarita mix, and then just top with carbonation. I like Sprite. It's just a favorite here. Wow, really, really good one. Orange margarita. Vixen is an or is the margarita. So Vixen is orange. Uh, the next one is Comet. And uh, Mason thought that Comet, I'm just going to talk you through this one because I'm. it's basically the same recipe, but we're going to change this up. Comet is going to be with our 1842 whiskey, and we're going to do that with a Tom Collins mix. Mason and I thought Comet yellow. Uh, we wanted to keep that with... Um, but with the strength of the 1842, so that is going to be um, our Comet whiskey. It's going to be, I mean, our Comet cocktail. It's going to be the 1842 whiskey. It's really, really popular here with the whiskey sour. But I um, think if you do the margarita, you could go with the whiskey sour with this and keep it nice and really yellow like, um, like Comet is depicted with the reindeers. But if not, you can do it with... Um, with the Tom Collins mix, either one, the yellow is gonna be great with that. So that is Comet for that. Now this next one um, is Cupid, and we thought Cupid, red, it has to be, you know, um, uh, trying to keep it kind of in the theme of it and that. And this one has been a cocktail favorite in the distillery. Shay, if you are um, watching, this one's for you because I know that this is a really popular one for you. This is gonna be kind of a spritzer with this. And I'm gonna just put some of the ice in there so we can use it to kind of mix up our whiskey in that. And with this one, I'm gonna take our mint whiskey. So Cupid is gonna be mint. I thought the mint, strawberry, just was kind of, kind of made sense with that. So um, we're gonna take one ounce of our mint whiskey. The mint, just goes through all the obvious. We've done it with hot chocolate. We did that last weekend with the hot chocolate. We've also done it with coffees. Um, but if you guys are having mimosas on um, Christmas morning, highly recommend putting a shot of the mint in there. I would do it with um, some of that orange pineapple juice and um, Sprite, and it just, I think it makes everything super vibrant and you've got like two for one in a cocktail. But this one, I'm gonna take that mint whiskey and I'm going to use this um, strawberry daiquiri mix. You can get this pretty much um, in any master mixes makes it. It's just kind of like a strawberry puree. I think it just, just does really well. You've got your mint. And I'm going to put equivalent to about two tablespoons. Probably, if I've got the ice in there, almost halfway because I like this one a little bit sweet. I think that the... Um, Mint in here goes really well. And I'm gonna use another one of these lids just to kind of mix up that um, the strawberry mix. 
I've got my ice, the one ounce of mint um, whiskey, and then I've got the strawberry puree um, in there, strawberry daiquiri mix, whatever. They sell, um, as you guys know, we do these a lot. Uh, these master of mixes, they do it as a daiquiri mix, but if you want it a little bit thicker and you don't want to get the big um, mixer for the strawberry daiquiri or the strawberry purees and that, this one works really well. A little goes a long way. You put it in the door of your refrigerator. You can add this to strawberry milk for the kids. Uh, you can put this into any of your cocktails. Um, we did a mint strawberry mule before, which was really, really fabulous. But this one I'm going to do with just Sprite because I want to keep it just kind of light and... Um, more of like a almost like a Christmas punch type thing and with this one um, with the mint and that I'm gonna put just uh, garnish this with the lime I think the lime's gonna be really good with this strawberry and then it keeps it kind of uh, Christmas inspired we've got this for our comet this one tastes just like if you guys remember I think it is um, God, you guys, help me out with this one. It is um, uh, Farms. Um, I'm trying to think of it. It's out in California. Somebody help me with this one. Um, those little strawberry candies that when you bite them and then they've got the gel inside, um, that's what this tastes like to me. You guys, I know you guys have seen them in the Christmas baskets. Um, I can't think of what the name of it. If you guys think of it, it's out in California. It's a, a something farm and it does those little things. Not Boone's Farm. It's um, somebody else. Come on, somebody help me with this. It's out in California. It's got, uh, they do those little strawberry candies. It looks like a strawberry. It's got the seeds on it, and then it's got the green little twist top on it. And it's um, a hard candy. And then when you bite it, it's got that little strawberry jelly in it. So if you guys think about it, let me know. Whoever says it first gets a prize something from the distillery. So hope you guys can um, um, think about it and tell me what it is. I can see the candy. It tastes exactly like it. If you guys want something nice and sweet but really refreshing for Christmas and that, this is a great cocktail. Definitely highly recommend this. If you wanted to change it up and you didn't want it quite so sweet with the Sprite, this is one that we did um, before with the um, ginger beer. And I think that that actually tastes really, really good. So I would, I would definitely, if you want to kind of kick it up, you can switch that up. Pepperidge Farms. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shannon, make sure that we, um, I'll make sure that I check that out. Um, and then, um, not Pepperidge Farm. Maybe it is. Jim, is it not, not Bear, not Sperry Farm? Oh God, now I'm going to have to do it. I'll have to double check with this and then we'll have to make sure that somebody's a winner for this for sure. But that's exactly what it tastes like, that piece of candy. Um, okay. So we're down to Donner. We've only got a couple more of these. This Donner one was one I'm really hoping that this works out because this is when I've kind of had it in my mind. Um, I thought that this would be really, really good. And we're going to do this one with the maple whiskey. So Donner is maple. Um, maple is definitely my second favorite whiskey right now. The orange is the one that I really like. It just is super universal. It goes with cranberry, uh, margarita, uh, sour mix, all of that stuff. I just think works really, really well. But this maple, oh my gosh, If I, I'm just hoping that this one does. I actually did um, an apricot puree. I have a ton of apricots. I think that the apricot sounds like a really good uh, winter cocktail recipe. So I've taken one ounce of the maple whiskey in this one. And then what I did is I made one of those apricot purees. You guys have seen me do this all the time. I take one jar, almost a full jar of the um, apricot puree. This one is... Uh, uh, 18 ounces, so I couldn't fit it into my mason. You guys, I use these. If you guys have a, a bunch of these on your shelf at home, these make really, really good mixers and that keep the lids on them. I shake everything up. You can make a honey puree. You can make a maple syrup puree, any of these with this, but this one I did with the apricot. I took the apricot preserves. I probably put about 12 ounces in here and then I added about three or four ounces of boiling water. And you guys can see this makes a really good, you guys can see that this is um, nice, um, really good consistency with this. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna do probably twice the amount of whiskey. I'm gonna add this puree to it. So I'm gonna take um, one ounce of the apricot. I'm gonna do this as two ounces. I think that apricot's gonna come out really well in there. So I've got one ounce of the maple, 
two ounces of the apricot puree. It's just kind of thinned in that. And then with this one, I'm gonna top this one um, just because I want to, I'm gonna do it as a mule. I just think that the maple um, with the ginger beer, I just think that this is gonna be really good. I thought that the apricot flavor with that, it might be too strong. We may, um, may decide to cut it back and do it with a ginger ale, but I wanted to try this with the, um, as an apricot mule. And I thought that, you know, Donner needed to be a little bit stronger. He's kind of in the back. He's at the end of it. Um, he's towards the end of the back. I think he needs to kind of make a statement with this. And we're going to do this with the mule. I would definitely stick with the ginger beer on this one. I think that the apricot and the maple just kind of temper that ginger beer. But if you aren't a ginger beer fan, you could easily do this with just um, club soda. Um, any of those ahas would be great. Um, and then um, it was called Russell Stover Strawberry Bonbon Filled Hard Candy. Okay. <laughs> Shannon, you win. I know it drives, I hate when I get this, I can see it and I can do it and I just can't ever bring it to fruition. So um, thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. Um, but this is really good with that ginger beer and that. And with this one, I would probably with the apricot and the maple, I'd probably stick with an orange garnish on this just because you guys know I like to put a little fruit in there. I think the orange makes it really pretty and I think it's gonna keep it nice and soft with that against the ginger beer. Yep, definitely good with that. But if you, again, don't like the ginger beer, go with the ginger ale. I think that it would be a really great substitute for that. Okay, we're making our way down. We are now on Blitzen, and J Mason and I both definitely agreed. Can you guys guess what we're using for the Blitzen? Blitz, strong. What do you think we're going to use for that one? I am going to do the bourbon. I think the straight bourbon is going to make a really great cocktail with this. I'm going to take this, put a couple of ice cubes in here, and um, get this thing to be nice and mixed. This is probably one I would easily do as a tall cocktail. And I think you guys are going to be uh, pretty excited about this one when you see it. We're going to do uh, kind of like a blackberry um, bourbon smash with this one. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to go with this um, straight bourbon. You guys, I just want to do a little quick shout out to say um, Mason nailed this one. I think he did a great job on um, getting this recipe done. And... Um, I just think that aging of the two years, it's been really, really popular. I will tell you guys, this is flying off the shelves. We are down to probably our last, probably about 150 bottles on that. Um, and it's gonna be a bit of a pause. If if we decide that it's liked and everything like that, we're gonna take a quick um, look and we're going to decide whether or not we will release a bourbon before we actually have more straight bourbon, which will be September. And when we look at the records in that, uh, we actually, made the mistake of making a bit of a pause and we used some of our bourbon mash and we put it into uh, whiskey barrels. And anyway, long story short, we, we dropped the ball and we um, now just have bourbon. So once these straight bourbons are all sold, uh, what would probably next be released would be the same exact thing. It would be Springfield, but it would be a bourbon and not a straight bourbon because it won't be aged the two years. But we're gonna try it. Might be something we do. This one, just because I'm feeling it tonight and I'm thinking that this is gonna be blitzing, I'm gonna go with a full ounce and a half pour on this one. This is gonna be a very strong cocktail tonight. So I'm gonna take one and a half ounce in this little one. You could do it in your big jar. You could just do the one ounce, but you know what, what the heck, we're gonna go for strong tonight. Um, and I'm gonna take this blackberry puree I have. Now you guys can make this with frozen blackberries, equal parts of frozen blackberries, sugar and water, and kind of make your own puree. You can take a jar of um, blackberry preserves, just like we did with the apricot in that. But if you're lucky enough to find this, and you can anywhere um, on, on Amazon or on Webstraat, that's who we have an account with to do it. Um, but I just thought this blackberry puree with the bourbon was gonna be super good. So I'm gonna put a couple of swirls in that. So we're gonna get that nice little blackberry flavor to it. I think that with the bourbon is gonna be super, super good. Um, I'm gonna put this on and just kind of mix. See these jars, if you guys don't know what you're doing with the jars, make your cocktails. Follow me on Whiskey Wednesday and just kind of mix this up and it makes a really good mixer with that. Um, so that's gonna make some really great color. And then I'm gonna make this kind of like in between an old fashioned and a, um, 
and just a bourbon smash. I did the bourbon. I'm going to put a little bit of these orange bitters that I have in there. Um, you can use regular Angostura bitters, but I'm going to do a little bit of those orange bitters in there and kind of make it a blackberry old fashioned. Um, I'm going to add a squeeze of orange. I'm totally winging this one right now. Put a little squeeze of orange in with the blackberry. I think that that's going to pair really well. And then I'm just going to top this with some ginger ale. God, I'm hoping this is tastes as good as this sounds. I just think that that bourbon and the blackberry and that is going to be super good. I'm going to mix this up. Oh, God, look at how pretty that is, you guys. The blackberry. You could do this with blueberry preserves. You could do it with strawberry preserves if you wanted. Apricot, orange marmalade, uh, peach would be really good. But I just wanted to do blackberry tonight. Wow. That is definitely, that's definitely an ounce and a half pour in there. Probably could have, Blitzen would approve. I think so too, TJ. But I got to tell you, TJ, you got to try this bourbon before it's gone. I'll make sure that we um, do that. This is so good. If you like that bourbon taste, um, you could add a little bit of, um, if you wanted this a little bit sweeter and the blackberry isn't a super sweet fruit kind of, if you can understand that, I mean, it, you'd make a puree with a little bit sweeter. This is one that you could easily add maple syrup, a honey puree to it, um, a brown sugar simple syrup to it, which would actually kind of tie in more to that old fashioned by using a sugar uh, puree with this. But I just kind of like how it sits with this blackberry. It's not sweet. And I think that bourbon it makes such a great old fashioned. I don't really care what the hell puree you use in this. Use anything. Um, don't use a puree. Just do a little bit of ginger ale with the 1842. But I think that blackberry kind of makes it nice. It'd be also really pretty to put, and I didn't think about it, but to put a couple of uh, floating blackberries in here. But with the oranges and that, I just think it makes a really pretty cocktail. So let's recap. For those of you that decided to play along with the um, match the whiskey to the... Um, to the uh, reindeer. So the first one I did was that caramel apple one. God, I really liked that one. That was the one done with the um, with the uh, honey whiskey. I did it with a little caramel sauce. I did it with some spiced apple cider, but you can use apple juice if you want to with that, the leftover mold cider, however you want to do that. I think it mixes really well. Um, and I used ginger ale in it just because I think the ginger and the caramel and the apple just kind of pair really well with that. You could substitute that out for a different carbonation or a Sprite if you wanted a little bit sweeter, but I think both of those is really good. The Dancer Prancer is my warm mold cider. This is the one with um, the brown sugar cinnamon. Of course, we always like the brown sugar cinnamon. It's our go-to with this warm mold cider. If you guys haven't tried it with the Cran Apple, definitely try this warm mold cider. We sell this one here. I know Southern Plenty downtown uh, sells this also. It's just a great little hostess gift or family gift if you've got somebody to do that for. We also have some new coffee mugs coming in. If you guys needed, uh, say for instance, a $10 to $15 quick gift for those coworkers and that that you want to buy for, I can put together a little package and wrap that up with the warm mold cider. You don't have to add the whiskey to it. It's completely up to you. Um, but that's a great little gift. I think the coffee mugs are like... Um, uh, $5.99 and then the mulling spice you're under 10 bucks. It would be a great little last minute gift if you have coworkers and that that you want to buy for. This warm mold cider super super good for that. Um, the next one is the Vixen. It is the orange margarita. I did this as um, with the Zing Zang. It's an orange whiskey. It's margarita mix and Sprite. I think it's a great uh, go-to if you want to do something without the fruit in that over the holidays. You want something just a little bit more uh, sour or spicy. Um, also really good with this. The maple habanero um, sauce with that would be super, super good. Um, Comet, we decided to do is the 1842. It's our 1842 whiskey. I would do it with either the Tom Collins mix or the sour mix. Um, just makes a great cocktail. Um, Cupid. Cupid is this mint strawberry. I think this mint strawberry is really good. The mint, strawberry puree, and just Sprite. You can change this up with any carbonation that you want. I just think it has a really great flavor to it. This is definitely one of the sweeter cocktails. So if you're looking to do something sweet, definitely recommend this one for you. Hey, Sylvia. 
And then um, the next one was the Donner, and we did that as the maple apricot. And I just think that that maple apricot uh, was really good. It's got that apricot puree. Uh, Walmart, Food Lion, everybody sells apricot puree uh, preserves with that. You want to break that down. I'll make sure that I post how I do that on Facebook um, or on um, Instagram even in that so you guys know how I do that. Um, that one is the Donner, and it is actually the maple apricot with ginger. I just like that. I like that with the ginger beer. I think that it has kind of like an apricot mule type thing. I think it just has great flavor with that. And then the last one I did was Blitzen. It's done as our um, bourbon. It has um, the blackberry puree or any kind of puree that you want to make with that. And just ginger ale, a little squeeze it, maybe some bitters if you'd like to make that more as an old fashioned. And then... You guys will surprise you this week with what I'm going to do with Rudolph. I know I left Rudolph out and he's probably, he's the most important um, one. And I think what we might do is bring out the rum for that one and do a white cranberry strawberry pina colada. It's going to be it's something Mason and I've been talking about. I really think it's going to be something I'll play with it this weekend. But worst case, if not, it will be something along with our eggnog. Um, for those of you that haven't been to Springfield Distillery um, around Christmas, uh, we are very um, fortunate that Abbott's Farm Supply gives us... Um, their homemade eggnog and we serve it always the Sunday before Christmas. Uh, this week, this uh, weekend we're going to be doing it on Sunday. I'm going to mix that up. So um, that would be the Rudolph special. We're going to save the best for last. And that is definitely our eggnog. So if you guys want to swing by on Sunday and do a little taste of um, Abbott's Farm Supply eggnog, it's the best that we are going to mix it up with our brown sugar cinnamon, um, the bourbon and our, um, 1842. I'm going to play with it a little bit and we'll do different options of that. So I hope you guys will come by and see us. We'll be posting a bunch of ideas about Christmas and that. Um, hope you guys, whoever played along with the reindeers, actually won and, and got and matched the most of them. We'll pick a winner sometime tomorrow and let you know who, who got the most right out of that. But I hope you guys have a really good um, week. I hope you guys will come and see us as a last minute uh, shopping opportunity before the holidays but if we don't see you now we'll definitely do whiskey wednesday next week so i hope you guys will join us again can you get that to go you can get anything you want to go sylvia we would love to have you come i know that um, the eggnog yes i will put it in a little jar and i will make sure that you get one to go with you don't worry hey mike hope you guys enjoyed this thanks for watching please like and share we want to try and get us um as much as we can uh, for people to see it and join us in that we'll be posting this on youtube but i hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Take care.